Hi, I'm Beth and I'm here with Alice today. We're from Craftsella magazine and we're going to be showing you how to use your 17 stamps that come free with your Christmas special of Craftsella. So inside your pack of stamps you will find your red stamps, the black foam pads and the labels. Now you need to put these together so you've got the label on one side the stamp on the other the right way up so you can see where you're stamping and stick it onto the black foam pad. Now there's glue on the foam pad and on the label so you can do that easily. First of all choose which of your stamps you'd like to use. We're going to go for this star here. Carefully cut along the dents between the stamps being really careful not to slice into the stamp next to it. Now, your foam pad is divided up and if you find the piece of foam that matches the stamp you've just cut out, now as I said before, there's glue on the back of there, so you just stick your stamp to it and that's nice and firm. And then grab your label. This is where you need to check that you're doing it with the right way up, so that when you're stamping, you know what it's going to look like on the page or on your card or your gift tag or whatever else you're stamping. So now that we have shown you how to put your stamps together I'm going to hand over to Alice who is our stamping expert and she's going to explain how to use them. Okay now stamping is a really fun technique to do um, and it gets some brilliant results as we're going to show you. But I mean before you start working on your project you might want to have a quick practice first just on some paper just so you get an idea of how to use them. So first of all find your stamp pad. We've used a dye based ink which is quite widely available. Now if you open it up and then if you take your selected stamp and you just push it down into the ink. Now try not to rock too much when you're doing this, just apply a nice firm pressure. And then when your stamp is nicely inked, you just bring it to your paper and again apply a firm pressure. Try not to rock the stamp and then just pull it up again and you can see you end up with a really nice impression there. Now that we've shown you how to practice with your stamps, we're going to move on to using them for an actual project. Now what we're showing you today is a project that's in the Christmas special of Craft Seller magazine and we are making some Christmas tree decorations like these, if I give them to you. They are wooden shapes that we have painted with normal acrylic paint, we've got four of them here, and we're going to be using our stamps on these but we'll also be showing you how to make them in the issue of the magazine. Okay, so we've painted the star here with an acrylic paint and that dries quite quickly and your inks should stick to it so it's not going to be rubbing off or anything. So, you just choose your wooden shapes there and then once again you just ink up your stamp and then you just make sure you carefully line it up and then just press the stamp onto your shape try not to rock it too much and then remove the stamp and you end up with that nice finish on there. Next up I have for you our Christmas tree. Now what do you think we should do here? Oh well with this stamp set we've got some really nice sort of little stockings um, and some presents and the bells and I reckon they'd look really nice because we've painted some tinsel on here if we just had some little stockings and bells going up the tinsel what do you think brilliant now I like that idea and I've noticed you've got some black ink with you I do perhaps yep. we could use that so it stands out okay I'll just pop my ink pad away that's it I want to keep it nice and dry <laughs> I do find if you store your ink pad upside down it stays nice and it juicy for next time you use it <laughs> top tip <laughs> Okay, so these ones are quite small, so just be quite careful with these when you're inking them up. And again, just press them into your ink, make sure they've got a good coating of ink on them. And then line them up with the tinsel. Push that in there. Brilliant. So there we have a nicely decorated Christmas tree. So now that you've finished 
stamping onto your wooden shapes. We're going to show you really quickly how to add your ribbon so that your customers can hang it on their Christmas tree. So, Alice, if I get you to hold that for yeah. now, and we're going to do it. the. We're going to attach the ribbon to the star, and we've got some gold ribbon here to match the gold on the star. I'm just going to cut. What's that? Probably about 20 centimeters. And then as you can see, we've already got a hole that's been drilled into the wooden shape. And then if you cut your ribbon at quite a sharp angle, like that, then take a small sort of pointy implement, not too sharp because you don't want it to go through the uh, ribbon. And then I'm just going to poke it through from the back and then we'll tie it in a bow at the top. And of course the stamps, you don't just have to use them for decorating Christmas decorations. You can try using them on your cards, on gift tags, even for nice sort of wrapping paper. That'll work really well too. So just get let your imagination run wild. The possibilities are limitless. <laughs> okay, how's that? Now that we've shown you how to use your stamps and we've given you a bit of an insight into the project that you'll find in the Christmas special of the magazine, I'm going to say thank you very much to Alice. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget to go out and buy the magazine which is on sale on the 28th of August so that gives you plenty of time to make and sell your products before the Christmas rush. And don't forget to send us lots of lovely photos of what you make with your stamps. <laughs>